As a growing business, it's important to make sure that your accounting workflows are working for you rather than against you. The accounting world is full of different use cases and approaches, and it can be hard to know which steps to take to make sure that you're on the right path. We put together a list of some of the best things that you can do to set yourself up for success in the world of e-commerce accounting. Now this list doesn't cover everything, but you can use it as a basis to make sure that you're starting off on the right foot. Number one, choose the right accounting platform for your business. This will generally happen in the early stages of getting set up, but it's a good idea to make sure you're picking the right platform for your workflow. This could mean choosing between QuickBooks and Xero, depending on the scope of your business, or choosing between QuickBooks offerings respectively, like desktop or online plans. This point ultimately comes down to how your team operates and the type of environment you're looking for in your accounting. Number two, set up and manage your SKUs and inventory correctly. Managing inventory can be a huge undertaking, especially if you have hundreds or even thousands of items and orders to keep track of. This is made a lot easier by devising a methodology for assigning SKUs to your products as you create them, either on your website or in accounting. How you do this is largely up to you, but using things like departments, bins, and other methods of organizations while coming up with your unique SKUs can go a long way. Of course, this doesn't cover every use case, such as those with custom one-off products, but the general rule of thumb is to at least have SKUs on your items for tracking and management. Number three, keep track of all of your returns, chargebacks, expenses, and fees. This may seem like a no-brainer, but you never really know how profitable your business is until you factor in these additional costs. Most stores will have the ability to export or email your monthly expenses and fees. It's also important to note that having someone in-house to manage your chargebacks and respond to them accordingly will save you revenue and a headache. Number four, reconcile regularly. Get into the rhythm of reconciling or balancing your books on a regular basis. It's good to keep on top of the balance of your books so you're not surprised when things don't match up. Set aside some time weekly or monthly to make sure that your accounting looks right. You'll be glad that you did in the long run. Number five, stay on top of your sales tax revenue. This becomes more important as your business grows, requiring you to record sales tax revenue in the states or counties that you meet Nexus in and remit them to the proper authority. There are plenty of resources for sales tax compliance and tools that'll help you along the way. And finally, number six, integrate your online store directly into your accounting software. If you've heard of Webgility before, you know that's what we do. There are a number of e-commerce connectors that'll connect to almost any store, but Webgility is backed by a decade of experience and direct partnerships with some of the biggest names in both e-commerce and accounting. No matter what you decide, make sure that you have the ability to pull orders, sync inventory, and download expenses and fees directly from the store. All of these things will help you get set up for success and make your life a lot more straightforward. All the points made previously are made even easier if you integrate and automate your orders and inventory directly into your accounting software. For additional information on Webgility, click the link in the description and make sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos. You can also visit help.webgility.com for a full library of how-to videos and walkthroughs. Thanks for watching.